keep in touch with Nerd News. We do little skits. We cover conventions. We do a little bit of everything, but it's all usually nerdy. And sometimes football, but that's just for Matt. Because <laughs> he's a football nerd. Yeah. And Rob. Comic book the third one I've done with you guys. Oh wow. So two years. So two years. Wow. 
that's a lot in internet universe time. Yeah. It really is for people to stay together. <laughs> She's <and> ancient. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> I'm not ancient. Yeah. But, I don't know, I keep doing it because it's fun. And it's stressful. It's really stressful. But nothing is hard or horrid if you love it. Like, it gets hard, but it's not a hard decision to make. Am I going to get sleep or am I going to work on this? I'm going to work on this. Use yeah. your and second one to push you through a rip. Exactly, and then I regret it the next day, but it's worth it. So tired. <laughs> Me, it was like the same thing. Like, I've always been in theater and stuff like that, and I have actually been in, like, a couple of, like, small, like, Disney films. <laughs> Yeah. 
and also why are you telling me what to do with that? And so she had a really funny rant about that. There were there were lots of cursing, so don't let your children watch. It. Yeah, no, not your kid, not your kid. Probably that bomb I think ten times at least. They used to say, I mean, like you know, you should know what to put in there and what not to put in there. And I don't think anybody needs to tell me that. The packet was basically for the point of her rant. Basically, the packet was like, oh, you just hit puberty. Here's what you need to know about your body. These are all women like in their twenties. No, not always. 
It depends on what it is. <laughs> uh, but the, the, biggest, the biggest point, biggest, biggest point is just let it roll off your back. Just don't even let it bother you. Yep. Because they don't matter. If they're going to treat you like that, they don't matter. And they know they don't matter, and that's why they're commenting. Yep. Because they want to matter to somebody. Put all your focus and energy on the nicer comments, on the people that are asking actual questions, or people that are actually being nice. And if someone actually are deep. Sorry. No, I was just oh. going to say, if somebody does comment or shares, I mean, it, as long as you're not like, you know, you have like millions of shares or something, but I mean, if someone does like comment, say something nice, go out of your way for them, because you know what, people don't expect you to be that nice on the internet, so I, um, most people don't know this, but I go through on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, not so much on Pinterest lately, because it gets, I get re a lot on there, it's all the and stuff, and, I, and YouTube, and I'll go through and I will like as many things as I can see on there, and I will thank everybody and star everything and add people just because, like, you know, that is really nice that you did that. Like, thank you. Thank you for taking the time out of the day to, like, take two seconds to, like, promote me or like my whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you, too. I mean, it does take a good chunk out of, like, my time of day, but I just do it on the bathroom. Because <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm already, might as well do two things at once. Yeah. yeah. Studio, we have like a, 
and an art studio, basically, art from design studio. And like when we first started out, I had to like like basically bang it into his head. I was like, you have to do a lot of stuff for free because he wasn't. He was like, well, whatever. Like, I'm like, I understand that. But sometimes you have to do a lot of stuff for free. And then like as we like went along, like for the last, the studio's turning five next year. So that's we didn't even realize that kind of snuck up on us. But um, with the kid and everything, but. Um, with the first like three, two, three years, I want to say we did like so much free work, and it wasn't. And sometimes it was rewarding, and sometimes it wasn't. But either way, it filled up our portfolio. So I mean, and, and that's not just for art. I'm talking like for blog posts. I'm talking like you have a gardening channel, saying like maybe somebody will want to do a crossword with you, and like, and you did like a promotion for maybe their new shovel that they came out with or something, and it looks good, but then maybe they kind of reneged on it and they didn't pay you or. That's okay because you know what you have that and that looks good in your uh, portfolio. You have it in there, and you have cool gardening tool maps. And you have cool gardening tool maps that you can, you know, if there's any zombies, there you go. But uh, so I mean, I, I still sometimes do like free work. Uh, like I do, I try to do as much like charity stuff as my health will allow throughout the year. But I always do at least five to ten charity things or events or. If I can't make it, because it's hard for me to make it to events sometimes in my health, so I will just like send people, be like, here, here's some art, you know, you could raise money, whatever. But I mean, like, aside from that, sometimes it's just like um, in the creative industry and business industry, it's great. Barter, 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 bang this in everybody's head. Barter everything. Like, I mean, like, I can make a promo for somebody's event and in exchange, like, you know, maybe they'll give me like some free comics to review for something, you know, next week, you know what I mean? Like the collected, uh, uh, I have a deal with them where they let me review anything I want in the store for free. I don't have to buy it. It's really cool because, you know, what? I, most people you have to go, reviewers, especially if you're starting out, you have to go buy a bunch of stuff and review it. And it's what's really hard is like most people aren't going to watch reviews to begin with if it isn't like all the newest stuff that came out. Yeah. So like with the collected, like Brent and Ron, the people that own it, they were like, well, if you just want to come up there, you, we have the free comic, you can just, you know, you're not gonna take it home with you, just video it in the store. And I was like, okay, yeah. Plus like the store looks like way cooler than like my bedroom. Just saying, like it looks I mean, you know. So I mean, sometimes you stick the sponsor stamp on things. <laughs> But in the end, if there's no money that's exchanging hands, it's really just mutually beneficial type of a thing. So uh, that I would seriously barter. There's you have value, whether you know it or not. There's something that you can do. There's maybe 1,500 things that you can do that's valuable to somebody else, and you can trade. <coughs> so always be thinking that. In fact, sometimes it's good to write lists of all the stuff that you can do because it also just makes you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I can do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Any more questions? Got some more questions? Webs, internet, anything? What's your uh, What's your uh, channel? What's it called? Pro promote it. We got the thing going here. What's it called? Yep. It's experiential gardener. Experiential gardener. Experiential gardener <laughs> on YouTube. Go. She had lots of good questions, so you should go. I know we got someone who draws comics in here. What's your uh, What's your promote it? What's your Liberty Press? Okay, dot com. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna put stuff on the board up here because we have a big whiteboard. Because hey, guess what? This is also part of promoting. This has been recorded the whole time, and we are going to use it um, online. So, and this is, again, I mean, I'm not getting anything from you guys except that I'm like, oh, you guys are asking questions. That's cool. Promotion. You know, it's free. Does anybody else have any other channels or blogs you want to like? Just gonna go around and bring. You want to like promote or whatever? We'll totally do it. Yes. What you got? Question. If you're starting out, you're Webcomic on DeviantArt is oh. a good way to start. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just have one thing um, to say about DeviantArt really quick. DeviantArt is really good to get your art out there. Do not put anything that you plan to keep as forever on there because they have full copyright access. Yeah, don't. Um, you can if you have like prints that you want to promote of your webcomic. Back in the day, it was a really good way, but nowadays it's not a good way. To, don't do that. Oh. If you want to start out, you know what's really no great? Um, my friend Francisco Salinas has a web comic called No Time for Color. Very clever, you guys. Because we've got time for color. And uh, he has gone tap past it. It's like tapestry plus tapping on things, so tap past it. Look that up. That is the foremost, like one of the best places to have your webcomic right now because you can integrate it and share it immediately 
onto Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook from there, oh. and it's free. Okay. Now, if you want to put some of your stuff on DeviantArt, what I would suggest is doing preview clips, and then like like maybe do some screen caps of like a couple of the funniest panels, but not the whole thing. Oh. You know what I mean? And if you have a print that's promoting it, I would put it on there. But then like make sure you put a link to the Tepastic thing. Because like I said, I mean I, lo I love DeviantArt and stuff like that. I've, uh, my account is almost eight years old now. Um, but just the way things are going lately, there's a lot of theft on there oh. so from you users, know? and it's lame. So how do you spell uh, uh, T A P? A S T I C. <laughs> but um, if you start typing it into Google, it'll pull right up. <laughs> like, because it's like it, it, it just it's not. I know it's really come into play lately since they made it integrated. Like, it's just such an easy way to share your stuff on anything, and for people, it makes it easy for people to share it. Because DeviantArt doesn't always make it easy for other people to share your work, and you have to sign up for an account. But with Tapastic, no matter where you post it, you, people can see it and they can share it directly, like from DeviantArt or Twitter or whatever. They don't have to go to DeviantArt and sign up. And, you know, so. Can you spell it again? T A P. Sorry if you can't read this. I think that's it. <laughs>
Even if it's just a, hey guys, how y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah, and always put a picture if you can. Yes. Any okay. picture at all. Pictures and videos get a lot more views than just a text post. That's correct. Unless it's really hilarious and short, like I'm like yeah. five times. It has to be really funny though. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and Twitter. Twitter is a great way to get international uh, people to look at your stuff. Like we started getting a following in Britain because a whole bunch of uh, British writers started reblogging our stuff because they like our artwork. And then um, like we always have a following in Japan and <laughs> in Korea because of like all the J-pop, K-pop stuff that we do. But I mean, like use use the sh out of Twitter. Look up the hashtags you need to use. Make sure you don't use too many. Use like three four at the most, so the people when they reblog it, they can add to their own whatever to it. Question: How do you get followers on Twitter? I'm, I'm a freelance. Uh, how do you get followers on Twitter? Oh. Um, I'm a freelance writer. I, I write articles, books, Sweet. book reviews, things like that. Right. I have a Facebook page, but how do you get, let's say, I don't have a Twitter account, how do you get followers on Twitter? You, let's say you start a Twitter account, you know, how do you get all the, those initial followers? You know, how do you... Two things. It, it takes a while, but um, the best way to get followers on Twitter is to find people uh, that you're interested in or would be interested in what you do or companies especially like I mean if you're into writing and stuff like that or maybe you're I, I don't know what you write about let's say you write about Pokemon games then what you would start doing is looking up you know people that are into Pokemon or look up Pokemon sites and stuff like that on Twitter and start following and just make sure that you follow them like at least one of their things and reblog at least one of their things even if you have to scroll that is the best way to do it I mean it's work it's, it's work. <laughs> Social media, if you have a business, it is work. But I mean, the results are there. And you know what the other thing is? Like, I could do a whole thing about this, but um, I don't know if you have a Pinterest. I don't have a Pinterest. Okay. Um, if you don't have a Pinterest, that's fine. Google is fine too. But Pinterest has is a really, strangely enough, a wellspring of social media tips, hints, tricks, and knowledge. If you get a Pinterest and just type in, social media or just go to the business category there's like hundreds of pins that i save sometimes daily to my own board so i can read them later that are all about each one of these social medias the best times to post on them how to get the followers which hashtags to use for what career or whatever it is you're doing so go to pinterest go to google i would suggest pinterest first because it, the great thing about pinterest is that people like me have already weeded out all the bait and switch sites and pin them for you. And if there is a BS site on there, usually if you click on it, it says, wait, don't click this, somebody's report, this is being a thing. Oh, great, thank you for saving me from a virus and site. So you're saying on Pinterest, you pin the, the, you pin the items that are relevant to your... So like, that I can read them later. It's like saving yeah. articles. Um, it's like saving or bookmarking articles, but it's just easier on Pinterest, it really is. Because my focus is mostly historical fiction and some non-fiction because I just survived there. There's tons of them out there. I mean, like, I have a whole bunch of fiction and non-fiction, like, writers that are following us in Britain right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just because, like, one person that I happened to see, I was like, oh, that was a funny thing that he wrote. So I was just randomly searching. And then I just liked him. And then I started something. You know, I, I liked it. I followed him. And then I reblogged something funny that he said. And then, like, within 24 hours, I had 10, 15 other British writers with someone with few thousand or a million followers following me. And that was on Twitter or, or Twitter? Twitter? That was Twitter. Yeah. It was just because like you have to give if you want to get. You can't go out there thinking you're gonna get it. It's not cool. Anyway, it's not a cool way to think. You gotta go out there and be willing to give. And then if you do end up being like, you know, a millionaire or whatever from being on the internet, make sure you continue to give. Because there's other people out there that are starting out like you used to do. Make sure you go find their stuff and reblog it. Because then a million people are going to see their things. You know what I mean? Or see pictures. Exactly. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't take but a few minutes, like when you're on the toilet. It's seriously <laughs> easy. Like, <laughs> now everybody knows also when it, whenever you're seeing stuff from Showa Studios, I'm probably <laughs> Anyways, well, thank, I think that's the end of the panel. I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like it's about that time I have three other panels to do. So. Um, I think I have a break because I gotta go do another panel. So thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. Make sure to promote each other. Great.